The primary objective of the initiative is to help eliminate the lack of knowledge on human rights among community members, provide affordable legal services, as well as offer viable solutions to societal problems. Country Director of the Federation of Africa Law Students in Namibia, Ndanyama Elao Emenenge Kalipi, stated that it is important for society to understand the law and exercise their rights freely. We are gathered to not just push for improvement or cause for improvement, specifically in the legal and human rights spectrum, but also to deeply unite and connect as a community and to be able to leave this space, this specific room, fulfilled on various issues that are facing ourselves and the people that we represent. Perhaps not fully fulfilled, but definitely with a direction on what the next step and ne next action will be. Acting Vice-Chancellor and Pro-Vice-Chancellor at UNAM, Fred Nardhidion, said human rights and freedom are fundamental to ensure the right to life, security, health, promoting social justice, peace, stability, and maintaining the law. He added that this would ensure that every person is protected and free from any form of violation. The clinics will cover Namibian laws pertaining to crimes such as domestic violence, combating of, 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 of rape, police and protection services, child maintenance, gen gender roles, will, writing, marriage and divorce, estates and succession. Executive Director of the Ministry of Justice, Gladys Pickering, pointed out that laws are only as powerful as the individuals that enforce and utilize them. And without awareness, human rights laws just remain mere words on a paper. An educated population is a resilient population, capable of challenging those in power and demanding the truth. Societies thrive when their people are educated and aware. Lack of education stifles development, hindering progress and the realization of human rights. By investing in education, we invest in our future and we invest in human rights. In each NBC News, Ventuk.